Okay, you all probably know what this is and or should know. Okay, what does it look like? A jewel, correct. And or. My mother is talking. And or, it's not just jewels that have these effects on people, but we get to that. What? People need snacks. Okay, so let's talk about some of the effects on jewels and other vaping products. Other vaping products would include e-cigarettes, obviously. Um, aliens, which are a device for vaping, and some other things. Um, but did you know that all of these have um, fiber blasts that can damage or injure tissue in your body? And also, they have, and then, um, it can lead to coughs that can later on lead to bronchitis, which is not good at all. And then there's another thing in there um, that is... Um, studies have also shown that flavor compounds in acids or drugs um, such as cinnamon extract, um, can appear to be harmful when heated in an e-cig or a jewel because yeah, they have to heat up for the vapor. And then they also contain nicotine. The jewels I've heard and have seen on packages and stuff that either it can range from 5% of nicotine to 10 or 20 or however many however much nicotine is in them it'll show on the little package um but um the it is an active substance um found in tobacco leaves obviously because you know people yeah cigarettes and stuff um um it's a that's what gives cig um, cigarettes their stimulant or buzz, as people call it. Um, there's also some other things. Um, this is this this is my favorite part. It's not a good thing, obviously, but um, there are a lot of chemicals and stuff in there that are not good for your body. But did you know that most, and if not all, most Probably all um, of these devices have formaldehyde in them. Hmm. Let's take a minute. Formaldehyde is a chemical that they use um, with dead people when they are preserving the inside of the body for like a funeral or something. Um, so basically, when you're inhaling that. I know you'd probably think, oh, I'm not inhaling it, I'm, I'm hitting it, and then I'm blowing it out. Well, it goes into your lungs, so yeah, you are inhaling it. So, you know, that goes into your body, and you're basically preserving your body alive. Dumb. You, that's the, the, eh. Um... And let alone, there's toxic me metals metal there's toxic metals in here um in there and these metals um the most concerning of these metals were nickel chromosome chromium something or other and magnesium magnesium are we freaking kidding me like uh, who came up with these darn things and then this chemical is all there's another chemical um 
I don't know what it is because it doesn't say. But this is people are so stupid. Oh my goodness. Um, and these are actually a bigger concern nowadays because kids and teens are getting into it and they're more exposed to higher levels of of stuff like this and you know that's, that's just not good especially for our kids and for our teens and it's just like you people are stupid you should know like you know and um i'm just gonna cite myself real fast um this is from the science news for students concerns explode over the new health risks of vaping Researchers link e-cigs to wounds, wounds that won't heal, and smokers cough in teens. So this is from, ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. It doesn't say exactly, but, um, this is an article that my mother actually printed off for me that I'm making a video about now. And, um, you know? can get triggering coughs that won't go away that will lead to bronchitis like you don't want that especially if you're in your teen years you don't want bronchitis like you literally have a life to live so don't do this and do this there's a pencil and eat these okay and do these things I don't even know what this is called um, color for crying out loud. Do something. Brush your teeth. I don't care what you do. Just don't do the stupid vape things, okay? Brush your hair. Take a shower. Take a walk. Go to your friend's house. You know, maybe sleep. Write a book. Don't eat food. Literally, I don't care what you do. Just don't do these stupid things, okay? Look at freaking yearbooks. I don't freaking care. Just don't do those things because I don't want to have to know you and have to live through school with you with you coughing all the dang time. And you being, <coughs> oh my god, <coughs> my bronchial tubes are like, <coughs> oh my god. Honey, you got bronchitis from doing this stupid stuff. I hope you guys learned something. If you didn't, just some hearing aids, because you probably didn't hear a thing I said. If you didn't hear it, learn anything, because I said a lot that you should probably learn off of, because that's a lot of information. Okay, thank you. And also, one more thing that I forgot to add is you can get popcorn lung. Well, that's like a chemical they put in like uh, microwave popcorn that you don't really see out anymore. But people that would people that would work in the like factories and stuff, they would like breathe that in and stuff and a lot of people got popcorn lung from it. Um it's basically when your lung is like all shriveled up and looks like popcorn and it's irreversible. And people can die. A lot of the factory workers that used to, like, work with the, like, mac microwave popcorn died. Like, do you want to die? I don't think so. Get a life and a job. But don't do the stupid vape things. Okay, now I'm done. Thank you and good night.